Well, now they're the most talked about feature when it comes to beauty in this new season. Brows can be bold, feathered, slender or windswept, says our beauty expert Trudy Brewer. It's time to enter an age of consistently inconsistent eyebrows, a style everyone will be wearing in 2020. Good morning to you, Trudy. How are you going? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm not too bad. That sounds exciting. So what's on trend when it comes to the look and shape of brows? Well, look, it's really good because anything goes, but there's a few that I've picked out that I think will really be, you know, you'll be seeing more on, particularly on the runway, which is where beauty trends originate. So the first one is the shadow brow. And I guess for years, for the last two or three years, we've had a very big, overextended, accentuated brow. But at the moment, it's more of a shadow under your natural hair. So letting some of your natural hair shine through. And there's some pics coming up to show you exactly what that is. Um, dare I say that the skinny brow might be coming back? I mean, it was only a matter of time, wasn't it? Because those big, huge boy brow looks that we've had. I don't know if it's going to take off, but there's talk that it's going to come back. Not quite as skinny as the original 20s brow and the skinny brow that we saw again in the 80s. It's got a thinner tail, but it's still got that big sort of head on the top of it. Um, so a little bit more like a tadpole shape, which I'm not a ma major fan of, but hey, you know, fashion, this is fashion. Uh, and the third one that I think is the most exciting is called windswept, and it's where the top of the brow is brushed up and then the, then the arch and the tail is windswept out towards the temples. So anything on your face that's lifting, in my mind, can only be a good thing. Okay, I have a very important question because I overplucked my eyebrows in the late 90s and ever since then I've had them tattooed, feathered, I have to draw them on every day. They don't grow back, so how can you be a person that can actually manipulate the shape of your brows? They don't grow back, that's the problem. I mean, if you, I, mean I say to women, don't use a magnifying mirror to pluck your brows because every single brow is visible. Don't, what you need to do is pencil in your brows how you want to wear them and then pluck them because you're only going to take out those stragglers that you can see, you know, here and there or in, in between um, in between the eyes. Um, there are so many products now. Microblading is probably the best one. It's an in-salon service where they etch almost like a calligraphy style pen. They etch in like a tattoo into the brow. It's very fine feather-like feather -like strokes and it's fantastic. But yeah, you're right. You know, it is the one, one area on the face that hair does not grow back. <laughs> How, Trudy, do you find a shape that suits you best, particularly if you've gone with a skinny brow in the 90s and you want to get back to a feathered brow now? How do you figure out what works for your face? Okay, I always tell women to look a photo, look at a photo of themselves as a child. And those are the brows you were born with. So that is the shape that you should actually have all your life. Um, if you've plucked them off and you want to fill them, the best thing is to get a pencil and just line it up with your nose and point it upward. And that is where the brow should start, where the pencil is starting. And then move from the nostril through to the arch in a line. And that is where your arch should be shaped. And from your nostril to the end of your brow is where the tail should end. And that's something anyone can do at home and work it out. I mean, there's more detail on the website if you wanted to have a look. Um, I also think a pencil is a great thing to have because anyone can use a brow pencil. Just short, sharp, feathery strokes. And then a lot of pencils these days have what I, is an invaluable tool, is a little spoolie brush. And you can see there, it's like a little tiny bottle brush, I guess, and that will help you groom away any mistakes that you might have made when you're trying to draw on the effect of a brow. I can only imagine what people's brows are looking like at home, particularly those people that have their six weekly wax, a bit like, you know, our hair going a little bit AWOL at the moment with colour and cuts. Um, what, what else can people do at home to keep on top of their brows right now? I, look, there's a really cool trick that I do sometimes when I run out of brow gel, and you can use soap. You can just run the little spoolie brush across a little bit of soap with it damp and then brush it through your brows. And it gives a really separated, beautiful effect. And it lasts until you wash it off. I really think that what we need to do with our brows is just leave them alone until we see our brow artists. If we rely on a regular brow service, like I said before, groom your brow, have a look at it and pluck around that groom and try and follow that line that your brow artist has been carefully trying to get you to grow that shape to suit your face. It's like our hair, you know, we, we're all just going to have to just 
cope with the way we are. <laughs> Try our best to, up, you know, fill in the roots with some of the semi permanent root touch ups that you can get at the supermarket. And just let your brows be for a little while. I mean, if you're really, really concerned about having that mono brow, you can always just pluck in between the eye areas there. That's quite easy to do. Use natural light and not a magnifying mirror because a magnifying mirror can get you into real trouble. Well, Trudy, since you and I have been chatting in lockdown, I've been getting to the depths of my makeup kit as I've run out of things and I've, I've uh, finished using my brow pencil. That is long gone. I found a little skinny eye uh, brow brush and some um, dark brown eyeshadow to fill in my brows. <laughs> what are the best tools outside of that to arm yourself with? Well, obviously, if you run out of your pencil, then um, you know, you're going to need to use your your eyeshadow powder, and you can use it with a very thin eyeliner brush and wet it, wet the powder, wet the brush, and just do tiny little strokes. Um, the, as I said before, the spoolie on the end of a pencil, or just rinse off an old mascara wand that you're not using anymore that's dried out, that makes a great spoolie brush as well. Brow powder, a pencil, and of course, you could use some soap, like I mentioned before, just in, in look in lieu of your brow gel drying out, or, you know, a mascara, a, a brown or a darker, a, a brown is a better color than black, a brown mascara, just a little bit, and brush it through. Short of all of that failing, you can use an old toothbrush, you know, anything to get those brows groomed, and for you to feel like you're looking a little bit normal. Lovely, thanks for your wonderful advice, Trudy. For more from Trudy, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.